everyone, it's Lindsay. Today we're going to add in a classic Mario flagpole that you have to run and touch in order to actually win your video game. Super cool, so I'll show you how to do it. Here I am in Scratch. I'm going to press the green flag and catch a coin, hopefully. There we go. And then I'm going to touch the flagpole and now I win, just like in real Mario. I'm going to show you how I did that in my code. So I've already uploaded a flagpole sprite. I'm going to grab an event when green flag is clicked. And right off the bat, my flagpole is going to be hidden. So I'm going to plug in hide and I'm going to grab a show and put it off in space. It's pretty good practice. If you're going to hide at some point, you'll need to show eventually. Then I'm going to make some if statements here. I need a forever loop because I want this if statement to be repeated over and over until it's true. So I'm going to grab forever and if and plug those in together. And then I need an operator. And this one's going to be a greater than. So this is where you get to pick how many points win your game. So variables, plug in coins into that blank space, just like when we were doing our coin coding. So if coins is greater than, and then you get to choose. So if I wanted 10 points to win my game, I would type in nine because coins is going to be one greater than nine. If you wanted it to be 20 points to win your game, you would put in 19. So just always minus one. In my case, I'm just going to put in zero because I want one point to win my game just so you don't have to watch me play over and over again. And this is where I plug in show. So if coins is greater than zero, go ahead and show the flag. So I'll click my green flag here and grab a coin. And now my flagpole shows. It doesn't interact with me at all. It just pops up. So now I need to say when the flagpole touches Mario, then I'm going to switch to my win background because that's how I win my game. So an if statement, and we know that we need to go into sensing to find touching and then change it to Mario. And then I'll go into switch backdrops and make it my Mario win screen. One last thing I'm going to plug in is a stop this script so that it stops listening for all these things and stops the coins. And then I also want to go into my coin code and I'm going to grab these switch backdrops to lose stop scripts that I had in my previous video. And I'm just going to copy them both onto the flagpole here so that it knows to do the same. And there they are. So now if I click my green flag, I should be able to get one point. There's my flagpole and it switches to my win backdrop. Last thing I want to do is go to my stage. We plug this in in the previous video for if I get 10 coins, then I win the game. I'm going to unplug that forever loop and just drop it off because I don't need it anymore. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure to keep watching because we're going to continue making this game even better than it already is. And it's already pretty cool. So I'll see you next time. Bye.